is Jack and Joe. Starting to think that's enough of that. I do have a soft spot for my sea shanties, but it's probably getting a bit silly. Let's work on a little bit of audio for Spin Mortality. I've been excited for this one. So, for those not in the know, which would be probably the vast majority of you, unless you're a PC gamer, Spin Mortality is a sort of strategy game being put together by a gentleman by the name of James Patton. And it's essentially about playing the mega corporations, the bad guys of Shadowrun, Blade Runner, things like that. And using your influence, your commercial prowess, to eventually basically rule the world. And he's released the beta. The game's been greenlit in Steam, it's gonna be out there. And it looks quite good. Um, after PC Gamer ran something of a preview, I was like, this is something I want. I love the theme. I love, you know, basic strategy. You know, it'll be fun. And he released a beta version completely free of charge. You can get it at, uh, I believe it's the what, itch.io itch is the uh, website? Yes, itch.io itch maybe. But um, I'm sure there will be a link in the VOD description. Obviously it goes without saying that this is very much in beta, so what you see here may not be representative of the final product. And yeah, don't judge it by this, judge it by what comes out. If anyone is watching, do feel free to let me know how the audio sounds. Uh, unfortunately there isn't anything in the way of an um, audio menu, so I'm not really in a position to mess around with it. I'm doing this all through Windows Mixer to drop that slightly. And yeah, I mean, so he's he's been open and he's been saying he's very open to feedback and everything. He actually had something of a critical bug following his Twitter, um, where you couldn't close the tutorials, but that's been patched. But having a look, options, quite limited. Um, it runs on Unity, so you get the sort of preset drop downs, your resolution, but I'd like to at least see some audio options, because I've had to knock the, um, the game down to about 10 on the Windows Mixer. Some audio options would be pretty nice, you know, things like that. But well, let's just get stuck straight into it. I mean, I could, you know, credits. It's, I'm, if this says more than uh, James Patton, there you go, there's a gentleman in question. Jay Patton, some music. Yep, there we go. Stuff and things. So, let's get stuck straight in. So, near our Mega Corporation. I have to say, I have a soft spot for Shadowrun. I always have. And based on who I am, you know, I like streaming, I, I want to work in the media. I'm going to go, I'm going to be Horizon. Excuse me, those in the know. The, the sort of uh, LA based media run corporation in Shadowrun. And I think, you know, this this sun sunburst kind of symbol is pretty good for Horizon, so we'll go ahead. My first name? Eh, we'll be. We'll go for uh, Daniel and Boyd. She's a portrait. Oh! That's this very, um, kind of shadow cabal y. That's. It's a nice touch. I kind of like thinking about it. I think I'm a sort of full artistic y kind of image would ruin it slightly, but we'll go with that. That's that's pretty reasonable. So, welcome to Spin Mortality, a cyberpunk strategy management game where you run a mega corporation in the near future. Press next to continue. You control a huge company, keep the company afloat, become more powerful and wealthy, become immortal, and eventually control the political landscape of the entire globe. You need to make profits by selling products. You choose how to market those products in different nations. Sometimes you need to bribe politicians to pass laws to make them legal. Let's get an overview of the company. So we click here. This shows details about the company. This is me. I am young, uh, 32 years young, uh, but I will age. And if I die, the game is over. Judging by looking at this, I will, I'm estimated to die between 80 and 100, but at the cost of 100, is that, that's a thousand million. And with gene slicing technology, I can transfer my consciousness to a new body with a life expectancy of 40 years. Interesting. As I progress, I find ways to become immortal and cheat death. Click goals, which is the chess piece. Short term, medium term, and long term goals. So, this task is your short goal. The board of directors will send you tasks that are uncritical but give you useful rewards. Okay. Agendas are medium term goals, extensive products with expensive but useful and significant advantage. Things like Black Ops divisions, finding an NGO, things like that. And long term goals, achieve one of them to claim victory. For each victory you must complete several agendas and control the world's nations. Important to keep the company afloat. So let's say we have Imperial Victory, so agenda points, uh, Black Ops divisions, Global Police Force, Observation Net, Military Strike Force, all nations are a one party state. So I guess basically that is literally rule the world. But in a sort of um, under your boot kind of way. 
we've got the new world victory with agenda points uh implement tax haven global police force retail site national bank independent legal system and corporation infrastructure and everything is a corporation so this is one thing i do know um james Patton on his um youtube has been just um put a piece put out a couple of videos running through the kind of basic tutorials of the game so i do know a little bit but otherwise i'm going in relatively blind and one of the things you can do later on is essentially force a nation into complete anarchy or let it happen naturally and replace it with a corporation in which you're the key stakeholder so that'll be fun and then consumerism which i can't really read but i'm going to assume basically uh i'm assuming democratic states and everyone's on your side sorry that would be my uh that'd be my phone going off for twitter which is in fact james Patterson. Make sure to use, yep, and it's not finished, yep. Oh, you can't actually win it. Port people to spitortality.com. So, I highly recommend you go and check out the game. Like I said, I've been interested in it for since I saw it in PC Gamer. I'm going to actually dump the uh, website link into the chat once I can find my freaking dashboard. You can tell it's going to be one of those. So, spin ort. One thing I will say is I hate trying to spell the game because it, I always have to pause and think. Spinortality.com. So yes, we have to sell products to keep the company afloat, take advantage of short-term tasks to refute rewards, become immortal, pursue medium-term agendas, and tutorials such as a vacation period, you lose many time by pressing the X button. Yep. Let's go and research a technology, as we should do. I'm going to have some coke. There we go. We've got one of the bunged up cans, so. Unprofessional as fuck, but who cares? So, just having a look here. I mean, a kind of a nice, a nice, healthy tech tree to start with, you know. Again, keeping in mind, basically one man project. This is a respectable one. Um, clearly divided by laws, so I'm curious about that. To start with, we have gene splicing. Artificial intelligence, a business efficiency, social media, and social offline, meta friendship. Okay. Research tree. Projects you can research, organize different groups. Light projects are available, dark are locked. The arrows show which projects unlock others. On the right is social media. We're going to go for that. So I've selected a social media project, and the panel to the right is the description of the project and other details. Social media can be monetized. It also has a special effect. It increases media power at each nation where it's launched. Okay. I have 10 workers, 5 interns, and 5 regular employees. So. One thing that would be nice. Um, if you could maybe get like a hover over tooltip here. So like, what is the difference between an intern and a worker? Now it only takes 2 turns. So yeah, what is the difference? I'm assuming that, you know, maybe one is better than the other, but it'd be nice to see that, you know, is there particular things that only a full worker can do as opposed to an intern? Ten workers are not enough for going to make a corporation. We should recruit some more. Quick workers. See, aha, here we are. See, I mean, it'd be nice to see it anywhere else, but so interns are cheaper, less effective, more likely to leave the company. Okay, so they can leave. And then you get your regular wage slave. I like it. I always like that term. So let's hire an employee. Hire five employees. You can right click to hire five. Yeah, it takes some time for employees to arrive on our social media research so at the end turn, which is the hourglass. And we move into the next fiscal quarter. Yep. We have some messages. So a geopolitics report. So let's have a look. North Africa's founded a democratic government. North America's founded a democratic government. The Middle East has founded an incorporated nation. Russia is a democratic government, Asia is a democratic government, South Africa is a one-party state, South America is a democratic government, Europe is a one-party state, and Oceania is a one-party state. The National Party has won the election in South America, retaining their position of power. Okay. Good to know, I guess. New task. It has come to the board's attention that the following task is of the utmost importance and should be undertaken as soon as possible. Break even. We are losing money. Ensure we gain more income than we have expenses. A very reasonable request on the board, I am convinced. And we have a media opportunity, which won't let me open, so. Now click the mesh, okay. 
It has come to our attention that a local media conglomerate in North America is having a fire sale to raise some emergency capital. We could snap up the assets in question for a knockdown price, increasing our media presence in the country. You cannot end the turn until you made the decision. You mouse over to see different outcomes. So we can spend five million and gain media power in North America, or we can gain four million. Now So I have to pick. I have no concept of what media power would do for me, but I know that um because I'm researching social media, it'll do it for me anyway, and since we're losing money, let's um, snap them up and sell them. Nothing left to do. So, we're in the third quarter of 2016, and we have, so two types of workers are interns and employees. Interns are cheap and effective, taking only one turn, so they're useful in the short term, or our money's tight. They have a higher chance of suddenly leaving the company. You lose efficiency every time an employee leaves, so a bad term, long term solution. Employees less likely to leave, longer to recruit, slightly better, but their wages are twice that of interns. So social media has research, so you can launch it. So click a nation on the globe. Well, I'm biased. You select a nation. In this in this future, the world's countries emerge in a massive super states, unwieldy and politically stagnant. They have a different culture, measured with seven variables. One might be very individualistic, somewhat spiritual, and totally xenophobic. So, let's just quick click. So let's have a look. So... Uh, Europe has become a little bit collectivist, so uh, very focused on security over freedom. Pretty spiritualist, actually. Pretty in the middle when it comes to privacy and publicity. Qu quite orientated towards convenience over quality. Traditionalists and multicultural, and quite quite prosperous. So it'd be good. To, it, I feel like it'd be good to launch here. So. This shows you information about the spin angle. So this is this is something that's interesting to me. Um, we've researched social media, but there's different ways we could launch it. So for sake of argument, we make Facebook. How we choose to advertise Facebook is the important thing. And the one we can do is it's never been easier, which would probably be pretty good for here because they're very, very focused on convenience over um, quality. So the idea that, oh, it's a convenient thing, it should actually sell pretty well in Europe in theory. Shows you information about the spin angle. Each targets one main culture value and perhaps one or two secondaries. It might focus mainly on collectivism, but a little on multiculturalism. The better the spin angle, the more money you earn. So select an angle. So I only have this one. Each product launch um, costs money. For the purpose of the story, we've been given an extra four million to pay. The estimated income is worth 13 million. So out of curiosity, let's say we decided to launch it here, which is focused way more on quality over convenience. Oh, it, it still it still gives me the same estimate. Okay, so this is basically assuming that you get a moderate, a moderately successful launch. So yeah, let's let's launch it in Europe with the never been easier tag. It will take one turn to launch to deal with any decisions, which would be oh, we have a whole bunch of stuff. So let's see, we've got our new hires. Geopolitics report: the Liberal Party has won the par election in Asia. We've finished social media. One intern team's handed in resignations, explaining why they were not. While they are not technically employees, in real terms, earning less. What? Sorry. One intern team has handed in their resignation, explaining that while they are not technically employees, they are, in real terms, earning less than half the minimum wage. That is... kind of... shitty. Sounds right. Eureka! You never know what inspiration will strike. I was in the hollow bath when an idea about how to market one of our products. I guess I should give it to you, since by all my ideas count as my employer, employer's intellectual property by law. Uh, we gain a new spin angle, so we might actually have the ability, so we have stay up to date. Tech is always changing, new tech, new services, new products. Welcome to the cutting edge of social innovation. So that might do well in a novelty focused um, uh, nation. So say for sake of argument, Russia is pretty interested in no novelty. Uh, Asia. Oceania. Not not a terrible amount. I mean, yeah, South America. So, like, if we decided to launch it here, this might do quite well, assuming I'm right in saying that it's focused on the novelty. The cutting edge of social media. But, let's see. We'll end the turn. You can check how well the launch went by clicking on the nation and checking the product on the list. The more successful, the more income. So, here we are. Ah, Horizon has broken into the social media scene. Total social experience with a new platform in Europe. Good job, Horizon. It was very successful. So yeah, we were right in saying that um, that particular spin would work well in Europe. So that's good. We have a gala event. 
Uh, I'll have to check on that in a second. For your products to sell well, you need to decide which cultures respond well to which spin angles. Look at the spin angle again, click the product list, and move over the spin angle to read it again. I'll come back to that. So, we have a look. What? Why is it? Okay. So yeah, it's basically going through what we went through. Which value does it appeal to? Once you've decided, search for a nation with that culture and launch it there. Well, let's launch with the new um, stay up to date one so we can test our thesis. South America looked pretty convinced by, no by nobility, so let's launch it here. It only costs four million, and in theory it should make us some money, so. Boom. You don't have many spin angles, so choices are limited. I'm guessing I got quite lucky with the uh, second spin that happened. We can research more of them. So, if we assign people to research we've already done, it'll generate more stuff. Since it's been researched, any workers you assign to it think of new spin angles. The more you assign, the greater chance they think of one. Assign everyone. You're finished, so deal with any decisions. I would, but. Okay, there we go. A major gala event will be held tonight. We have received an invitation for a company representative. It would be a good opportunity to network and build contacts, which I assume is these things up here our connections. So who do we send? We can send one of our security people and gain military. We can gain class connections through an official company rep or a technical expert and gain some cyber connections. I have no context as of which is good, so I feel like a gala. I would send an official company rep. And we gained two class connections from that, so that's nice. Your spin team is thought of a new angle. I out of curiosity. So yeah, that launched that launched phenomenally. Five stars. And we've now broken even, so they've paid us five million. Creativity report. So we've got one world. The people of the world are all complex, different, and beautiful. Welcome to the one place they all hang out. So that might reference um, collectivism, or maybe a little bit of multiculturalism, because it's all about one people, one world. So I would argue, yeah, probably collectivism, which, as I recall, apparently America's super into collectivism now. So yeah, I mean, we'd absolutely want to launch it there. It was a total success in South America. So, yep, we were 100% right saying that um, either... Actually, hmm, now I look at it. Stay up to date might actually refer to material wealth over um, nobility, if it was a total success. Now, in sense, it's talking about tech. So that actually might be pretty relevant. An intern team has a hand in resignation complaining that they've had nothing but cat food for two weeks straight. I would like to point out that it's incredibly lucky they're getting cat food. We're not running a nice corporation. So we have our new spin angle, which is the one world, which I would argue, I'm thinking, would probably fit well with um, collectivism. So now I find somewhere it launches well. So, I mean, North America is completely collectivist. It might be multiculturalism. I hope not. I don't think so. Um, if it is, we will, we will suffer. So let's hope for the best and go with one world in America, North America more specifically. You should research new technologies, spin angles for those technologies in order to launch them. The be pardon me. The better you launch them, the more income you earn from them each turn. Research hires needs workers. Workers are free, but once they arrive, you pay them every turn. There's one final thing. Open the research window. Some projects are harder to research than others. You can see that Meta Friendship would take 20 worker hours to complete. Posting tips takes 12, and public user data takes 22. Okay, so actually the, um, the labor, this basically, if I was to throw... 20 employees, this would take one turn. Okay, that's good to know. It might be tempting to research projects to test as work, but the more expensive a project, the more income it generates when launched. Click on Meta Friendship. You can get an estimate of how much income a project will generate by clicking the estimated income figure. This, will, this is how much money technology may get launched in with average success. So this would make me 27 million every, every uh, fiscal quarter, where social media makes me 13.5. So Literally double, if we were to get meta friendship. Online review site where people can rate their friends. That sounds like a terrible idea. Oh dear. Now we have 120%, 127% chance. That's good to know. Next. You now know everything necessary to start playing. There's other systems you'll encounter. More tutorials like this will assist you on occasion. Tutorial award, $40 million. So, um, now we've finished the tutorial, a little bit of, um, well, 
Here's the issue. I was going to make the comment that it would be nice if the tutorial maybe went through some of the systems a bit more. So it touches on things like, uh, if I can find the button, there we go. So it touches on things like these agendas. Um, other than the fact that just, it kind of just says along the lines of these are for you stuff. I have no, I don't really know why I would want to do this. So, um, like a black ops division unlocks me an espionage menu. Public relations, I can exchange money for public opinion, I can find corporate nations, which I'd like to do, I like that concept of owning nations. Um, it doesn't really tell me how to interact with nations. Um, I imagine it's something that basically I get a tutorial when I choose to engage with that system or when it becomes relevant, but as it stands I'd have no real concept of how to go about bribing um, people. I have an idea because I watched the YouTube videos. It also hasn't even mentioned the concept of these laws being divided so you might make the comment that the tutorial could do with a slight bit more but it would all depend on what else comes out of it so based on what i know let me just have a drink ah oh, pardon me so the main thing here each of the each of these are divided by law so the top stuff has no legal restrictions, but they're obviously usually the cheapest and the least effective. And as you go down and down and down, you require different levels of um, regulation to actually launch it. So let's say for sake of argument, we decided to go into public user data. So anyone can publicly access any social user's data, which sounds absolutely horrifying. And you can just find out about someone's social media habits. Let's say, we dis let's say we've researched this. It's because it's in the law high. I'd have to find a nation that in its laws, probably within maybe human rights or actually being social, I imagine, has high. So I could launch it in North America, but I couldn't in say, ah, here. So I couldn't launch it in South America. Its law is too high. So what I could start doing is trying to influence the party in power. How do we go about that? There lies a certain question. I can buy influence in the media, which gets me called, which influences their culture. I don't know what that does actually. I've not seen this stuff. Okay, so I can buy up their uh, thing. Neat. But yeah, so what I can do is I can choose to put, give funding to one of the parties. So in South America, we have the National Party and the Ultimate Party. Currently, the National Party is in par. Maybe I feel it aligns with what I want to go about. So it's a collectivist security, material wealth, etc., etc. I could just give them some money, give them $20 million. I get their funding and power, which gives me a favor. I could then spend that favor to start influencing them to change the law to high. So in doing so, I they would start to run it through their parliament. Excuse me. And by the end, they will lower the law and the product I can then launch the product I could launch this massive database of users so your interns are wondering about whether or not we're going to hire them full time so I can hire one of them or five well let's hire one because having full time employees over interns is pretty good it'd be nice if there was maybe a hire all option for that one but I mean I guess that makes sense now let's decide what we want to do so we've managed to break even so Let's see if I can find it. Here we are. Up, oh, launch overview. No, so social media. So we've managed to launch pretty well across the board so far. Can I, can I do, oh, I can't do stuff in Antarctica. That'd be kind of fun. So I've got a five-star launch in South America. I've got a four-star launch in Europe, and I'm kind of setting up for a five-star launch in North America. So this should, this should give us a reasonable cushion of income to basically spend a bit of time getting new stuff. The game gave us the sort of suggest, oh, here's our projected, so we've got 27 million from sales, but our expenses is about 14, so we're making about 12.5, and next turn that should go up. Um, assuming this is about equal, we'll add in another 16 to our income. I believe the value of the social media and pretty much any product you launch goes down over time. So that's something to keep in mind, you do want to keep launching products. Let's pull some people away from this. So, let's knock that back. I don't really need um, that sort of thing to be. So, I mean, a 50% chance every turn to get a new spin is pretty reasonable. 
it's good for the time being. Well, so we're playing Horizon, so we really want to focus down on our social aspects. So let's move into uh, Meta Friendship because it is pretty much double the price. And, well, double the income rather. And it also has no legal ramifications, so we don't have to really spend any money trying to engage with that. It'll take three turns, probably a bit too long. We could choose to pull people away from the social media, but it'd be nice to get the other two spin angles, and then we can keep the product launch rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. We've got a thing here, a new task. That's concerning. Uh, apparently, it was actually unsuccessful. So, we launched it here. It was one star, which means we have, well, rather, I have misunderstood what this is orientated towards. Now, it, there's a thing about it, fuck it, there we go. I could spend a class connection to reveal which cultural values the spins are going please so, so, I was under the impression it was collectivist, and I feel it reads like a collectivist, but evidently I'm wrong. So, perhaps, like I thought, it maybe relates a little bit to multiculturalism, which in that case would make sense, America being somewhat xenophobic in this universe. No real comments otherwise. Since I'm just kind of testing it, I've got a little bit of a surplus, let's spend it. Uh, so I was correct. It is in, well, I was correct the second time around. It is orientated towards multiculturalism, but with the tiniest smidgen of collectivism, which unfortunately wasn't enough to pull me up. So that failed, and that has pretty much cost us money. There's been a delayed project due to a high level of inefficiency. So this has been mentioned a couple times. What do I do about this? So because of interns leaving, it wants me to research business tracking. Oh, I can unlock the agenda for Black Ops. That could be fun. Where does it mention inefficiency? Ah, here. Here we are. So we've got 11% inefficiency. Good chance products are delayed. The more workers you have and the more leave it increases, you've got 5% corruption. More income you lose due to bribery, it rises slowly over time. You can spend class corrections and some money, as or cyber corrections in the case of this, and get it back. There's also this, which the game didn't mention, but it'd be good. So we get one connection every turn. We can spend a little bit of cash. By a little bit, I mean a pretty sizable amount to upgrade the schools and do what we need to do and increase our income. Not going to worry about that yet, and I'm not going to say that 10% of inefficiency is a huge, huge deal. I'm going to bolster that up to 15 employees. I, I kind of want to do this. Let's do it, just for, just for the sake of interest. Let's find ourselves a Black Ops division. So I need to assign some workers. We can start that next turn once we get our uh, extra workers. A top secret Black Ops subsidiary dedicated to corporate and political espionage. Ooh. Very nearly went to Kaiba, boy. I've been watching far too much Yu-Gi-Oh. So, let's have a look at our research. So, unfortunately, we didn't get our spin. Nor did we get any advancement on this. Which is kind of annoying. They want us to work on this. Fully integrated system for tracking every part of users' businesses. Tasks, management, efficiency, etc. Can be monetized and would make 21.6 million. All workers gain 5% efficiency for all tasks. Now that is very, very good. Oh. Better at research, but worse at spin. That's interesting. I can get AI then. <laughs> A man-made dairy. That's, that's terrifying, actually. Minus 5% to inefficiency growth, because we get stimulants that require less sleep. Um, again, I'll, I'll stick, I'll stick with what I'm doing. I don't have to do the, um, I don't have to do what the Board of Governors asks. It's come to the Board's attention, the following task is utmost important to be undertaken. It will not happen though, so. We have a media opportunity. We can snap them up and sell them, or we can gain some media power in Russia at the cost of 5 million. So let's have a look. Normally I'd be okay with this, but our launch in North America is going to have caused some problems. Um, that really did actually cost us. So I'm going to choose to just um, sell them on. 
get to 4 million. Which pretty much covers our cost. So let's have a think. So we've now worked out that it's the, the particular spin relates to multiculturalism. So let's find ourselves a super multicultural state that we maybe haven't launched in. Uh, low phone. Nothing relevant. Well, it's family. So, okay. So the Middle East is actually pretty different because it's actually a corporation. So we have a bunch of stuff here. Um, the chief shareholder is the Memify Corporation. Uh, with 35.7% of shares. I could choose to just buy shares at 778 and I could buy myself onto the ladder and eventually try and eventually take over the Middle East, which hasn't been done before, I'm sure. So, Europe is actually another pretty good place to launch the multiculturalism angle. Excuse me. A little bit collectivist, very multiculturalist. So it might be worth relaunching the one world. Cost us four, but another estimate. We'll boost our income with the social media. It sounds like a reasonable option in the meantime. So launch projects gain income over time, but it diminishes each turn as customers' interest. You can relaunch them as many times as you want, which stimulates public interest, causing them to buy the product again. But they... Uh, back in a bit. My apologies. The perks of living at home. <laughs> Comes with a lot of benefits, I have to say. So yeah, we could relaunch this and make ourselves a little bit of income, but we could hold off for the time being because, really, we're still making money. We're not doing too bad. We're still in the black, so let's hold off. Do we wanna? We have no one really to spend, but in a couple turns we'll have access to some workers. I could hire some interns in the meantime, but they're not real. This will teach us about the tagging interface, which helps us keep track of spin angles. So which one goes with which? You can use the tagging system. Go to the research window. Okay. Mouse over a spin angle. So, doot. Right click. You can tag it by left clicking them all and they can be tagged weakly or strongly. So, in the case of stay up to date, uh, the fact that this is all narrowed down is weird. It's not ideal, but so yeah, I think that um, basically it'll either tie into wealth or novelty when it comes to step to date. Um, you could spend the angle. Get anywhere close to it. Type has no game effect. Game effect. I mean, that is a good thing to have. It also lets you perform focus tests. So let's go into never been easier. Actually, that's the step that oh, that's going to make me focus test. So yeah, it's all about convenience with a little bit of novelty and a little bit of um, publicity. So there you go. Quickly depletes your class. And it gives me the class connection back. That was nice. So yeah. I mean, exactly as we thought. It's good to know. Project is delayed again. This is because, well, we didn't even assign anyone there, so that's not expected. Um, there is, Asia is becoming more prosperous. That's good, because it means people pay more. And the Republicans won the election in Russia. Good to know. So... <laughs> Dear Sir or Madam, your assistance is requested as a non-Nigerian citizen to assist the Nigeria National Petroleum Company and also the Central Bank of Nigeria in moving funds out of Nigeria. In exchange for your accommodating services, Nigerian National Petroleum Company will agree to allow you to retain 10% or US $40 million of the full amount. However, to be a legitimate transferee of these monies according to Nigerian law, you must presently be a depositor of at least 2 million in a Nigerian bank. It is possible for you to assist us. We will be grateful. Please send the fund as soon as possible. Time is of the essence. Very quickly, the Nigerian government will maintain, will realise the central bank is maintaining this amount on deposit and attempt to levy certain depository taxes. So, we can ignore it, send the money, lose two million, and there's a small chance the print will spawn. Send it, but, we need, but I need a small deposit to open a Nigerian account. 50% chance the print responds later. I'm just going to ignore it because not a scam. Yep. So, that, yeah. So, next turn we'll get some workers. Research is still happening. This is going slowly. Be two turns. 
Um, judging by the fact we keep getting yelled at about inefficiency, I'm going to spend my cyber connections and a million to reduce that by 10%. Because that's getting on my nerves. So, creativity report. Post, post, post. It's never been a better time to avoid yourself. Get posting. So we got a new spin angle. Uh, cultural shift. North America recently won the Hollow Ball. But we have the more collectivists. A series of hollow shows about marketing yourself online, maximizing your reach, has made North America more public, more favorable to publicity. And the economy of South America shifted, saying it's going towards chaos. Geopolitics, the Workers' Party of North America has rebranded. They now stand for collectivism. Neat. And we have our new employees. Automated message, I am the prize. For Remind, become immortal. It's only a matter of time before until I... Who needs a message? Oh, that's, that's kind of funny. <laughs> become immortal. It's only a matter of time until my body shuts down for good and I have no intention of dying for your smoke. You must be a big shot to you by now to do some research and gene splicing and figure this out. Okay, so if I go down the gene splicing route, that's how I go about not dying. Eureka! Ah, we have a new thing. So what have we got? We've got Never Alone, which I believe gets us all the spin for social media. Yep. So we can now just move those guys out and move into something else. It would take 16 employees to get that done to turn, but 9 will get it done. Let's do the minimum number required. We'll get it down to 2 turns. So that means we should still get the um, thing, we'll get business tracking, and we can start, well, one employee's not really going to help. How many can I knock this down to? There we go, so that's the minimum required to get that done next turn. We'll pile that into Gene's Dance, which will be four turns. Actually, hang on, didn't I want to do um, the Black Ops Division? Let's do that. That's way more sensible. So this will take a little bit of time, but three turns. That unlocks our espionage menu, which is, I guess, here. So, we have all the spins available for social media, which is a very, uh, what's the word, horizon thing to do. So, never alone. We're never alone. We're our friends, our families, our lovers. Let us help you bring you together. That sounds pretty collectivist to me. And post, post, post. I mean, that is that has to be orientated towards publicity. That makes sense. Along with maybe some freedom. But I think publicity is the main one there. And then, never alone. I'm thinking collectivist. So this gives us an idea of where we want to launch some stuff. Which I think we should maybe consider doing. So, our income's dropped to the point that we're now losing money. We want to start some launches. So... Let's have a look at our finances. So that's six and a half. We're still up by nine, and we're 1.73 here. So let's see about launching somewhere new. Somewhere new and shiny. Russia. So Russia is very focused on material wealth and freedom. So, something that focuses on material wealth. This would be a good time to work out uh, stay up to date. I could spend a class collection, so let's do that. And. Yep, so I was right the first time. It is very focused on novelty with a drop of wealth and a drop of publicity. They are pretty focused on novelty, on novelty with a little bit of wealth. So this would probably be an okay launch, but it might not be the, be the best focus for us. Alternatively, we've got uh, Never Been Easier, which is very focused on convenience, which they're not. Publicity, they're not. Novelty, they kind of are. A little bit of collectivism. Uh... Wealth, publicity, novelty, novelty. Yep, never alone. So I think it's based on collectivism. That's definitely not going to work. Folks, post, post, very focused publicity. Again, not really. And one world. Again, I think it's going to be rather difficult for us to launch a social media really well in the, um, Russia. So let's move on somewhere else. So we've confirmed somewhere's really focused. Well, I'm convinced that post, post, post is really focused on publicity. So this would be a good place to start selling in the Middle East. <laughs> so, promote yourself, which is a little bit individualistic. It's kind of in the middle of publicity. So let's let's give that a go. We'll launch it with the post, post, post campaign. And let's do, say, two or three launches. So convenience and novelty. That is probably pretty good for us if we wanted to do it along the stay up to date lines. So quite novel. Well, actually, convenience was a different one, wasn't it? So convenience was super, um, yep, never been easier. 
with a little bit of publicity and a little bit of novelty. So this one might actually be the better option for us. So let's give that a launch. And we'll try launching one more. Let's try Oceana. So, we can get... so again, publicity is pretty high up. I'm still not 100% that um, it does what I think it does. So let's not 100% commit ourselves just to a simple look at maybe Africa. Freedom, material wealth. Uh, convenience. So convenience is one. We have never been easier. So let's launch that. So these should, in theory, get us maybe like at least three stars, which is enough to get us a good bit of income and take us back out of the black. It's just the menu, apparently. And turn. So here we go. Product launch. Total successes all around. Go us. Everyone gets a bonus. So yeah, I mean, that's perfect. So we have a look at our finances. 8 million, four, nearly 15 million. And also 8 million. So we are now making a whopping 25 million surplus every quarter research complete we've now unlocked meta friendship so this is a new way for us to start russia has experienced a a cultural backlash against oversharing online personal processing is embarrassing or being i mean they've shifted towards privacy geopolitics liberal party has rebranded and now stand for collectivism interesting so we've got five people on hand we could spend so we've got soul to soul a deeper, more meaningful connection. We can help you find a connection deeper than words. Something truly ineffable. I'm not 100% sure, actually. Um, that sounds relatively... I'm getting a little bit of a privacy vibe. A little bit of spiritual vibe. It definitely spiritualism, actually, because... Talked about meaningful, deep connections, so... I'm getting spiritual. A little bit of privacy. Maybe a little bit of individualistic... Maybe a tropa tradition. So that's something to consider. We might want to now put some stuff into um, expanding our slogans. Let's see. Could we can take some people out of this. Nope, no, we can't. Never mind. And let's focus on gene stems because this makes this is, helps with our inefficiency problem. So let's focus on that. There we go. Four workers. And I'm going to just put some people in, well, just the one person actually. This case is an 8% chance, but you know, next turn we'll have a whole a whole bunch more people to play with. But it's better than have them doing nothing. A graduate sponsorship program. Graduates can be a source of future connections. An investing sponsorship program may help down the line. So, we can, pay, we can spend 10 million and we gain a bunch of connections at a later unknown date. It sounds worthwhile, definitely with our new set of income, so let's sponsor a hackathon because our cyber connections are pretty lacking. And there's nothing really else to do. Next turn, we should get our Black Ops division, so that'll be exciting. We'll get the um, business tracking along with an extra um, spin angle next turn. Gene Stims will start in three turns. Yeah, so let's take on over into quarter two of 2062. Lots has happened. So the board has recognized we've uh, done this. We got an extra spin angle for that. Geopolitics. The Liberal Party is rebranded, standing for security. The Hope Party is one in North Africa, ousting their opponents from office. The Workers Party has rebranded, and the National Party in South America has rebranded for novelty. So lots going on. Cultural shift. Celebrities and talking heads in Oceania have been more emphasizing how all cultures are valuable and should be respected. So Oceania has had a shift towards multiculturalism. Creativity report. Uh, the business tracking team has thought of a new spin, a new business here. Automation is the new way to do business. Don't be left behind. That is obviously relating to, no, uh, to novelty. We've got business tracking. And unfortunately, Gene Stems was delayed. Kind of annoying. We've received job applications for a skilled and appropriate candidate. If good fit and willing to start immediately. We can get an employee. No reason not to. We're making enough money. So our corruption is slowly rising. Yeah, pardon me. That's, I, screw you in turns, man. <laughs> They're dead to me. Let's go ahead and bulk up. Actually, there we go. So, since we'll get a new guy tomorrow, that brings us up to a nice round of 20. Sack the interns. There we go. So, this should finish. What? Why is this? ETA is two turns. So I don't have enough people assigned. Is that the problem? Let's just put three people in. Should finish next turn. Our research. So let's have a look at what we've got. We've got business efficiency. We've got efficiency. Stock is money. Management is potential money. Staff are money in human form. Tracking those things means a better, healthier bottom line. 
Um, that would probably be oriented towards wealth. So that's where that would be a good thing. And new business area, as we, as we said, that's oriented towards novelty. <laughs> so we can do this and get ourselves some really good researchers um, in the form of a simple AI, which can be hired and we get a free AI worker. So this might be good that we can use them to supplement some stuff and send our workers off to spin projects. Let's take that out. And let's bulk up this. So we can send nine people in. Let's send seven. We'll send two people off to get some spin angles. 16%. So what we'll do is we'll have this happen and by doing so, it'll just be um, we can get ourselves a nice researcher. So. Ah, sales and profits. Open the research window. Some projects need more research than others. Social media needs 10 workers. 10 worker hours. Auto poster needs 20. This is known as the labor cost. The more time it takes, the more valuable. Product takes a long time. Will take a lot of money. One is easy research and that's less money. Select any nation. Prosperity and chaos. How prosper it is, how close it is to total anarchy. The more prosperous, the more money you make. A products launch will make twice as much in maximum prosperity as those in near chaos. Finally, the better spin angle, the better it sells. See how well with the marketing we've done. And once on the screen, you can click a project says it launch. A greener color um, means more successful. Red means unsuccessful. So yeah, I mean, we've been doing pretty well with our launches. The lowest we really got is a four star with the exception of the, the nation that shall not be named is complete free one million dollars so yeah i mean we made a miss we made a bad call no let's have it so south america is totally focused on material wealth let's have a look at business tracking since the efficiency by my guesstimate is related to wealth let's try launching that there let's see what we get and our meta friendship our soul to soul is very based on spiritualism so let's we you know we need to make we need to spend money to make money let's try and find a spiritualist nation and see if i'm right no one is really all that spiritualist what the hell guys there's not a spiritualist nation about not really well i guess we're not making much use of that program anytime soon that's fine let's launch the business thing a little bit more maybe get a second launch so, what do we have? Business dragging, efficiency, and new business here. Let's find somewhere focused on novelty and try and confirm that one. So let's try Asia. Business tracking, new business here. Watch. So if I get this right, this will make us quite a, a new rival. A new rival's arise has seen Pisa, a tech company founded several years ago to growing rapidly. Keep an eye on them. They have zero power. If they reach 100, they take over the company. Your rival 0%, push it to 100 or stage 100 um, a soft start takeover, they become a subsidiary. So how does that work? This is a new thing. Oh, we've actually got our espionage menu. Oh dear. Okay, so we've got a culture shift. Student protests have caused freedom to become more prevalent in South America. National Party in Russia has rebranded their message for material wealth and the Workers' Party for tradition. Agenda. We've now got our Black Ops division. So we now have our... Uh, our own Blackwater. I've got people joining us next turn. So, it would be nice to keep working on more stuff. So, that involves us getting connections on our hands. And with the with the Black Ops division, that's going to be pretty important. Our friends in North America's Worker Party are concerned they'll lose the next election. Make sure they don't. So, what does North America stand for? What does the Workers' Party stand for? They stand for... Okay, that color is terrible. Like, you just straight up cannot read that. Uh, collectivism, freedom, uh, material wealth, privacy, convenience. Can't remember the other one for no uh, novelty, or tradition. I mean, I'm not really in favor of these guys, but sure. Let's have a look at our black ops. What can we do? So I could rig an election. Make sure that the large the target party is guaranteed to win. So let's see how this works. So we have a discovery chance, a PR risk, and a success chance. And each of the various connections we have makes it better. So if I was to do this in America for the Workers' Party, 
and I put I spent six turns. So I'm guessing I maybe say the quicker it is, the more likely. Yep. So there you go. So I have a 20% chance with just one connection. If we put all of our connections in, we get a 50 odd percent chance. So let's do that. Since that's what they want. Fake news. The smear political party. They lose 20% of its popularity. You gain 12 fear from the opposing party. Rate a pension fund. Impose order. Assassinate. Blackmail. Crash the stock market. Start riots. Pushing towards cast and state of research. Nice. Well, let's do this because I need to do. I need to give this system a go anyway, and it's a mission. So, I've slightly less than half a chance. The PR risk is. I mean, there's actually. Oh, I'm guessing that's related to the NGO. So, right, since I'm sitting on a little bit of a surplus, let's upgrade this business skill. It's going to cost me quite a bit, but it'll really improve our capacity to do stuff. Now, how do we organize? How do we make them more vulnerable? That's interesting. Oh, some workers have been assigned. Whoops. Also, we have a new task rig the election. So, these will both take two turns. It might be good to start making our way down the line now. So, social optimizer. Social media chat log schedule analysis improves the efficiency of your social life. Of the cost benefit ratio. Posting tips. Suggest content their friends might like. Public accessible. Yep. So, if I get that, that leads me down into career advice. Which actually helps people get hired. It's good. Task efficiency reduces an efficiency growth. I like that. Unlocks enhanced employees. Mm. Extends my lifespan. Span. Predict your exact date death. And brain transfers. Swap bodies. Cheating death. Terrifying. A monstrous deity. We were not meant to play God. Yeah, I like the sound of this task efficiency. It's 40 million income and reduces in, in our income. But only three people. This will take 10 turns. So while I'm sitting on some... Let's see if I can maybe reduce some of this down. Nope. Nope. Well, maybe let's focus on some spin then. This, um, because obviously there isn't a whole lot of spiritualist nations, it'd be pretty good to focus on trying to get our hands on more stuff for that product. Ah! Well, I mean, it's a little bit too late, but sure. Be good if this maybe had a triggered whenever I actually was doing the thing, because we're currently running one, so it's not actually showing the right screen. It might be good if that actually triggered instead on when the Black Ops um, finished research. Maybe it's supposed to, and something else happened. So this is everything you can run. Okay, so I can't actually do this, so I have to just exit out of it until five turns from now, and then go back to it. Resources not being exploited. Uh, yes, that I do know. I can't do anything about that. Let's see how our launch went. Total success! I'm getting good at this. So this means I was pretty accurate in terms of my assessment. Let's have a look at our... Uh, there we go, launch overview, business tracking. So five star and five star. Nice. It's good. It's good. I just is making, right? Twelve million. Twelve million. North America's slipping, but I never really had anything worth selling there. Arrival. Hmm. Oh dear. Okay. They have five percent power and zero percent vulnerability, so let's see what our options are. So I can do nothing, which gives them a bit of par. If I was a subsidiary, I could buy myself. I could do the hostile takeover. Make them more vulnerable. Very expensive. If it doesn't persuade someone to defect. This takes more connections than we really have. Um, hack their archives. A devastating smear campaign. Again, public. I, they become more vulnerable. I pay money. I don't really have... It'd be good to gain some employees. I would be okay with that. That's expensive, but poaching employees. I lose 30% of my income. Improve my working conditions. Let's use headhunters. That's really expensive, but our ability to, to just do more stuff, that's pretty great. We're still, I mean, we're still in the black. I hope. Yes. We're making 17 million a term. Not as comfortable, I'm sure. Find your tribe. 
With our meta metadata, you find a community perfect for you. Probably collectivism? I'd hazard a guess. That sounds right. It's about finding a group of people. The nation of Europe is bombarded with VR stars, sports people, business gurus of low coast, all wearing or using high quality clothing, cars, and jewelry. They value luxury and quality. Geopolitics, liberals in Asia, Workers' Party of Rebranded, I stand for xenophobia. I'm glad we're putting our money there. The whole party won the election. We hire, and we have new employees. So let's send some people to work. I would like to focus on task efficiency. I only got four people though. Let's actually put that for. Let's focus on just making sure we can use our products in the best way possible. That sounds like a reasonable option. Ding. Horizon has unleashed AI workers. Is this the future of work? Automaton, the promise of freedom or the achievement of human irrelevance? Not yet. Aha! Our hacker sponsorship has given us some stuff. We gained three to six. We got five. I had to count. We have AIV1 and gene stims. So this is all good. Creativity report. The meta friendship has thought of a new spin angle. No more expensive meets. Expensive and useless meetups are a thing of the past. Now you only need to spend money on friends that are likely to be a good return on investment. I hope this isn't the future. The business tr tr tracking team has thought of a new spin. You could be a good business person. You've got guts, drive, vision. It's hard managing your business. We help you out. Give you a chance to shine, achieve your two pencil. That sounds pretty individualistic to me. Asia's moving towards chaos. Middle East is describing the notion that they should become more individualistic. National Party have rebranded, they only stuff for novelty, and the ultimate party in South America has ousted their opponents from office. And our new hires. Yep. So we've, we've got our hands on 21 employees. I don't think our poaching was really worth the 20 million we spent, but we're getting some stuff done. Let's send. 10% eh, is probably not that bad. I hope. So we actually have an AI researcher now. So what do we want to what do we want to focus on? By better understanding of genetics, we design and grow organs tailored to individual customers, which improves my lifespan, which is pretty important. Though I want to make it clear that um you can't actually win in the beta currently, but you know, all non AI workers gain five percent efficiency through employee money. So this actually seems like a good one. Because this leads into employee nanny, and that improves our workers, while also giving us our social media ability to launch. And if we have enough workers hanging about that we can really make it work for us. I'll just put everyone into it. Actually, do the 11, and we'll do that. There we go. So, we've got a 42% chance for each of these to get some new spin. Two turns, we could access the public user data. I think that would include the AI worker. How do we hire them? How does that work? Do I have to launch it? No, I don't. Okay. So free of the grind. Get up, work, eat, sleep. Where are you? Your dreams, your passions. You give you four or five free, hour, five hours of freedom every day. Uh, mm, I'm not actually sure what that one would be. I'll spend the class connection. I would like to focus test that. So it's all about freedom, which makes sense. A little bit of convenience. Um, North Africa might be a terrible place. Sorry, I managed to forget. Convenience. So if I get a very free place with a focus on convenience, that'd be pretty good. I'm thinking North America might suit. Yep, so North America is probably the or North Africa, not North America. Gene stems, really grind, launch. And we have another new thing in the form of our meta friendship. So we have, actually we have two, find your tribe, which is collectivism, and no more expensive meats. Uh, yeah, I thought wealth. I I feel like it's pretty useful just to do the focus test. Like you, just, you just know, you know. Uh, somewhere focused on wealth and collectivism. Yeah, let's go here. Let's just launch a bunch of stuff. It would be helpful.
So we spent quite a bit of money. We make it back. Seven. Gene stem craze sweeps North Africa. 43% of people surveyed. Nice day up all night partying or working. Sleep is for the week. Oh dear. Uh, two very successful launches and a total success in America. Excellent. Liberty Party's won in Asia. Democratic Party's won in North Africa. Or sorry, no, they've rebranded. How long's left on our rigging three turns? And a chance for capital injection. I work for an investment fund. Horizons definitely. I lend you 100 million now. You wouldn't have to pay us back until you and I see do so. You, however, repay 115 million. I wouldn't mind having it. Sure. I wouldn't have been surprised if I immediately went into the 115 and it made me pay it back. Would have been Sod's Law in a nutshell, that one. So I have. So apologies that I haven't been really paying too much attention to the chat. I just thought I would go through this and show you guys what's going on. Feel free to let me know in the chat what you think of the game. Like I'm super convinced. I'm pretty fond of it. Um, it's like I'm sold on theme alone. Like I have a super soft spot for things like Shadowrun. I've played Shadowrun over uh, Roll Twenty, and just this lovely. Like, Im like immersion in this idea of these super powerful megacorps and I have a soft spot for runners but if things like Dungeon Keeper or Overlord has taught me anything sometimes it's good to be bad and there is something really kind of satisfying about trying to read a nation you know like I made a mistake when you know, in North America I've made a mistake but also made something really well you know really quite good social media didn't work in terms of how I spun it but Meta friendship that that hit the trick, and there's something really satisfying. But I'm suddenly making six million because I was able to get the grasp of things, and it'd be nice to engage. I, w I do want to engage more with this politics system, but right now I'm finding I'm kind of struggling a little bit to keep my my income comfortable. There's certain things I'm willing to spend on, and I don't feel like messing around with politics just yet is ideal. But. That will come later, and I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to putting people in power and eventually trying to topple governments so that I can buy them out. It's going to be fun. So, yeah. I am very curious about this. Oh, hang on. Oh, I understand this now. Okay. This makes way more sense. So... My, influ my social media influence dictates how I'm personally able to affect this. So if I decide I really want to make, um, I want America just focused on convenience because I'm just going to keep hammering them with the never been easier social media spin. Eventually, because I have this 10% influence, because I have this, this element of media, I'm able to try and push them in that direction so that's another way you can kind of control and pull the, the strings of power it's it's really interesting i'm looking forward to seeing this you know launch fully and get get my teeth stuck and i intend to sit and string this it's gonna be really fun how long have i been at this i think we should uh, keep it going so let's see what are we at we've been at this for an hour Let's go, let's go for another 20 minutes. That brings us up to about an hour and a half. And we'll call it there. But let's let's re let's relaunch, let's respin social media. Cause <laughs> we really should. So there's no super collectivist kind of thing. So actually, what am I talking about? Never alone. So we'll launch that. That should that should launch pretty well. That'll help supplement our income. Get us back up somewhere. See, this, this is really satisfying. I can imagine, like, you know, being a CEO in 2016, having this hollow globe. I can spend just these numbers appearing, you know, stock prices and your income. We're really not capitalizing in Oceana at all. Do we have anything we can really work with, with it, though? So when you have um, freedom, they're really not a freedom-loving people, so our gene stems aren't going to work. Um, efficiency wouldn't work. Novelty would work a little bit. Time to shine. Oh, this is new. So I I think this is individualistic. It's talking about the individual as a business person. It's time to shine. So I'm going to take a risk. Because 
I am of the opinion that this is individualistic. So let's hope it is, and in theory, this should make us a nice bit of income. Hopefully enough to get us over the loan we just took. Uh, so let's, let's keep looking. So where are we not? We're not capitalized on Russia, so... Material wealth. We have a bunch of stuff we can do for material wealth. Business tracking. New business era. No, that's novelty. Sorry, efficiency. Watch that. And... Oh, I can only do one launch a turn. Okay, that's fair. Well, let's do something. Let's see what we can do in Europe. So find your tribe. Collectivism. Not really. Wealth. Not really. Spiritualist. A little bit. Wealth. Okay, not really. Novelty. Definitely not. Individualism. Nope. And freedom. Definitely not. So not much to do in Europe right now. Nothing that is really worth it. Freedom. We've launched our stims there. Material wealth. Again, let's let's launch our business. Uh, convenience. Well, we already have social media and we have MetaFriendship, so that's not. We don't really have a convenience angled push, but we can push material wealth in terms of efficiency. There we go. So in theory, bam. So, how do we keep the company functional and stop it coming stagnant? This is important. Open the company window. Oh, this is the thing I've seen already. So, this is the um, corruption and inefficiency. When employees accept bribes, perform favors their friends, deprive the company of much need to profit, higher corruption, more money mysteriously disappears. We lord with internal investigations, cost money and class connections, the favors you have among the movers and shakers. Internal investigation. You've received enough money and connections to pay for it. Moving on to inefficiency. How outdated and unwieldy the company is, higher inefficiency, more likely things get delayed. Lower in efficiency, using cyber connections with high hackers and cyber security, it'll cost a bit of money. And they've paid me for it, so, ding. You may wonder what the final connection is. Military connections. Mercenaries, ex-soldiers, unlike class and cyber, this does not improve the going internally. Used to take part in violent black ops or find new nations and archistic states. Reward, five million. So I feel like I want to try and push to um, do some really messed up black ops, but, uh, oh, actually the tutorials vanished, I didn't notice that, so that's kind of sucky. Uh, sure. Let's let them start. I don't see, really see the reason not to, you know, as long as you keep a vague idea of what's going on. Very successful, total success, total success, very successful, total success. Something very satisfying about that. It's like, research complete. We've got public user data. So we should have a spin for that. Let's have a look. And we've got a whole bunch of stuff. The buffer zone. It can be dangerous meeting people online. All we want is to reach out, but is it safe? Now, through peer-to-peer -peer friend rankings, we can flag up problem users and keep them at arm's length. That's going to be related to security. And be part of something. Businesses aren't islands. We're all part of something bigger. Our families, our communities, our planet. Better efficiency means giving more to that wider community. Again, that's going to be collectivism. So, I mean, th this is the core crux of the game, is reading these spins, reading the nation, and then when something doesn't work, working to change it. That's cool. So, let's see. We've got a public user data. We've got nothing to hide, nothing to fear. But you do. But you, don't you want to know what your employees or acquaintances are looking at for your own safety? Absolutely security focused. So that'd be good for me to launch in. I believe Europe is quite security focused. Yes, it is. Hundred percent. So we can even do that with our, not business, with meta friendship. Buffer zone, and also with uh, public user data. So what what makes us the most public user data? Nothing to hide. That's based on security. Let's launch that there. That'll reinvigorate our presence in Europe. It's a social thing. So we'll get that little bit more ability to maneuver people's perceptions, get some work done. We've got 12 people to play with. I'm coming to realize that I'm quite fond of making sure that we have all of the spins available that we can get because it means that there is a lot for us to do. You know, we aren't basically bound by a product. As it stands, you know, looking at James Stands, I can only really sell to freedom-loving nations, but that's 16 odd million, you know, give or take, that just doesn't get anything done with. So I'm of the opinion that I want to focus and get this stuff, you know, get extra stuff. Other people might play quite differently. You know, people might just be like, I want to get access to everything, a real broad, a broad range of things, all running simultaneously. That's also an option. Now, one thing we have to keep in mind is now that we've got into public user data, we've got to make sure that the law suits us. So this is when we're going to start choosing to engage. Now, I think, actually, I'm going to say, am I launching public user data? 
I am. I wasn't paying attention. So the law here is already social high. So only thing is genetics and business. So as we can see, this is. I mean, I guess this this is pretty reasonable. It's pretty self-explanatory, but obviously it isn't explicitly stated. But this is obviously genetics. This is business. This is our social. What are the other laws? I know one's taxation, and that's pretty helpful. That's always good. Then human rights. I'm not sure what that relates to directly, actually. Fair enough. Okay, so the other party is actually rebels. Interesting. <laughs> well, let's keep let's keep these guys in power. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of favor and influence. Keep their polls going. Now, what do we want to do? I could spend some time trying to reduce taxation, make Europe more profitable to me. Because as you can see, you know, I'm losing 1.7 million into tax. Alternatively, I can start trying to push down genetics. Because I'm making some moves in that regard. Or business. Business and social media has pretty much been my thing. So what is human? Another kind of thing that would be nice. I, it's more just like human rights is throwing me. Because I don't know what that directly relates to. I just hit my pop shield. So it'd be nice if maybe there was a hover over tooltip to give you an idea, but it's one of those things that I think that's more on me than it is the game. But something to consider, definitely. So let's let's go ahead and try to reduce the genetics. So I'm trying to make them reduce regulation. I can spend favor to reduce it by 5%, and it rises naturally by 1%. I have 5% chance. I have two favor with them, so let's... Do, do, do. Yep, there we go. So I've now got 15% chance. It's not ideal, but also it's more just for the, the sake of um, the example. So over time, this will continue to tick up until eventually they reduce their genetics regulation. And then I'll be able to bring myself and use designer organs or Project Frankenstein. Designer organs could be good, especially because it explains my lifestyle. So, what's happened? Education in the developing world. Some people think that we as a wealthy and powerful mega corporation have responsibility to help those in need. <laughs> Oh, fuck, they're serious. The nation of Asia is unstable and will benefit from charitable intervention, as we all know an investment in education is investment in the future. Finding a series of schools would boost its stability. This would not only make it a more profitable market, but garner public sympathy. So we can spend 40 million, 10% public opinion, and have a chance of increasing prosperity. As it stands, since I can't find a corporate nation, I, I don't benefit from there being chaos in um, Asia. If it was to become an anarchistic state, I could maybe decide to make it a one-party state, or a democracy, or... Uh, I think that's actually the two options, other than corporate nation, but... So, I could basically dis, you know, make some subtle changes, but it's not really enough. Ideally, you want to go into chaos when you want to set up a corporation. So as it stands, I think it's good to get some public... I guess it'd be good to get public opinion, I don't know yet, because no NGO. But extra prosperity is always good. And have improved prosperity. There we go. So, you know, the gap paid off. The Democratic Party in North Africa is rebranded for multiculturalism, creativity, no more unlikables. Hate it when a cool friend turns out to be a socialist or a social justice worker or a terrorist in disguise. Now you don't have to. We'll root them out. I love how ridiculous this is, but also, like, vaguely believable. It makes me smile. Well, but not smile in a happy way, more just this, um, if I didn't laugh, if, if I didn't laugh, I'd cry. And the business tracking team, peace of mind. We all want peace of mind. Some security in case of unexpected problems. We want to know our business is safe, our resources are secure, and our employees are trustworthy. We can keep that locked down. Another security agenda. And with that, they have researched everything for business tracking and for meta friendship. So we have 14 employees, we can get straight to work in something shiny and chrome. I have enough people that I can get this done in turn if I get posting tips, so let's just, let's focus on that. That's a nice, not freebie, but it's nice, it's easy, and we can start working there. We might want to start getting some more people into public user data, since we're, I've got 75% um, chance with gene stems. There's plenty to be done there. Let's focus on a little bit of that. Now let's make sure that our, our products, what we've got, we can make use of them. Product launch report. A very successful launch in Europe. Hooray! So yeah, nice 8 million a turn. For a quarter, rather. But, so I've got plenty that I think I can do when it comes to security. So let's launch this. I, I'm pretty sure this relates to security. You know, because it mentions security. 
feel like that's a pretty subtle plug. And go for another five or so minutes. Folly communication is coming to my possession. No idea what it means. Don't expect you to either. We succeeded in rigging the election. So, in North America, we're soon going to have the Workers' Party, despite their atrocious polls should win, which I believe will get me quite a bit of favour, which means I can then use that to, you know, get some stuff done in America, like taxation. Yeah, screw that. Screw paying money to the government. Uh, what do I need? Oh, I can actually do some stuff. So I can actually work on corporations if I wanted, or the International Bank. Roost loan interest rate by 40%, 3% in vet interest. Oh, that could be pretty good, actually. So that'd basically be like 3% money every turn. Every four to seven. Oh. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. So every four to six turns, I move a culture slider and a random conjure for free. So I can just start to do things. Observation. Espionage products are 25% more likely to work, but public opinion drops 0.5. Well, it's not a very good observation net if they know what's happening, but whatever. Okay. Uh, well, let's do the NGO as quickly as we can, because um, this we haven't actually seen yet, so... Let's put as many people as we can. Let's just pull some people off for search. Because this is pretty much the last menu, so I think it would make sense if we pull some people off of it. Um, let's pull them out of this. 75% chances. Ridiculous. Stop making me work for this. So let's just try and get this so we can get it in a turn. There we go. 20 people. So next turn we'll get access to the public relations menu, which exchanges money for public opinion. The question is, what does public opinion do for us? Oh, gee, oh god. Oh yeah. Uh, nation of Russia requires assistance suffering from horrible outbreak of vernal disease. Asking for financial aid is because it's public opinion. There's a th oh. Um. All right, let's let's spend the money we've got it. I guess public opinion. There's a, we reduce the chance of losing prosperity, and there's a and there's a smaller chance of the disease spreading. Oh dear. Europe was very successful. We did posting tips. And. Oh! Nobody keeps their both genome anymore. That's so 2040. And that would probably relate to novelty when it comes to. Oh, okay. So, that relates to social. So, North, North Africa is probably somewhere we would like to focus too because their social stuff is too friggin' high. But I don't want to start. Oh, actually, yeah. They're oh, no, they're not even a corporation. Ignore me. Um, the whole party's in charge, that doesn't make a change. Let's get some favor a little bit and start reducing their social laws. There we go. And here we go, the NGO. So this one triggered um, on time, so I'm guessing the um, Black Op Division one was a bit of an anomaly. So, an NGO is a non-profit organization loosely affiliated with a corporation. You can say to Osur's social ills and make your company seem more humane. I like it, it's seem more humane. Not be humane. You can spend money to raise public opinion and also by the looks of things do a little bit of um, prosperity sometimes. This is the PR stunts available. Each has a time, cost and time frame. More expensive the more efficient it is for dollar dollar. Free giveaways, PR stunt. PR stunt takes turn, but stick your stunts longer, blah blah blah. Job creation and assist developing nation. This actually lets you get um, prosperity. Neat. Job creation raises prosperity nation, which is already very prosperous. That and then assist developing nation is one where they're close to chaos. You don't do it for public opinion, but also to shape the landscape. Here's the thing. What does public opinion do for me? This is something that hasn't been touched on, and I feel like it'd be good if it was because why should i care what people think does it affect my income also i did this we just rigged the election i guess the election has to happen i thought the election had happened when's it happen five turns to the election okay but yeah so what does public opinion do for me why do I want to have it? it? It's obviously an income cost, but as far as I can tell, there's no sort of indicator of public opinion does this for you. So, we're now one step closer. We have our NGO. 
geopolitics, Republicans won in Russia. A spike in the sale of self-help books, as we go on spirituality in Europe. Vocal rea reactionary celebrities in South America have called for a return to the good old days. Ah, oh dear. And public user data was because of um, lack of people. It'd be good if... Oh, actually, hang on. This raises a question. Does that have... Yes, it does. Ignore me. So it, that was actually due to inefficiency. But that's only 4%. That's annoying. Oh, oh yes, our rivals here. So what can we do? They keep gaining vulnerabilities. I like the, I do like gaining things, so I like the headhunters. I'm guessing that this um becomes increasingly less good though, because it's down to four percent. So also that's another thing. What does worker happiness do for me? No, oh, well, let's let's get more headhunters, more um, employees. Actually, let's not do that. We've got a whole bunch of military and social stuff. Let's just do a cyberware attack. Resources not being exploited, which is gene stems. Again, it's mostly just because we don't have a whole lot of as many um, things as we'd like. But the new way to be, which is another thing. Sell drugs. We're obviously not selling drugs. We're kind of selling drugs. <laughs> I haven't really noticed much in the way of... Um, Multicultural. Hang on. No more unlikables. I guess that might be actually traditional. Or privacy. I'm not sure, because those two seem like they'd overlap. That's definitely security. But no more unlikables also seems like it'd be security. I guess maybe it's a mix of um, tradition and privacy, but. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. I mean. I want to reiterate, I said this at the beginning, but this is completely in beta. And if you want to go and take part in the beta test, and if you do, I highly encourage you feed um, stuff back to the developer, James Patton, who seems like a quite a swell dude. Um, as mentioned, his Twitter handle is uh, at James underscore D underscore Patton. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see... Uh, I tagged him in my announcement. <coughs> Excuse me. But feel free to feedback information to him. I put the um, the website into the chat earlier on. Just I'll do it again just for uh, the purpose of stuff. But for those just joining us, because I've actually managed to tap out Spin Ortality, as I'm going to be wrapping up the stream very, very shortly. Spin Ortality is a near future cyberpunky management and strategy game made by the wonderful James Patton. Uh, and it's basically about running a mega corporation and what you do is you basically develop products sell them try and manipulate the political landscape to the point that you cheat death by I don't know probably becoming a brain in a tank or a dragon I don't know how I don't know how much they got the developer like shatter on I'd love that for it to be an option suddenly I am loafer um, but yeah cheat death and become king of the jungle the economic jungle it's currently in open beta, so of course anything you see here is not subject to the final product, and there's still plenty of room to improve. It'll be on Steam for a currently unknown price point, and I highly recommend you check it out. Head on over to spinortality.com, which has been put into the chat again, and have a read. I actually quite recommend his um, YouTube videos if you want to get an idea of some of the basic mechanics and how things work, but hopefully this has been pretty similar. I'm going to be wrapping up. Right, if you happen to have missed the stream, I know a couple of you have more or less just joined us. You can catch the VOD probably sometime tomorrow. I've been, I'm doing actual full-time work this week. But probably tomorrow over at youtube.com slash inquisitor023. And also you'll be able to access it pretty much as soon as the stream is over. Um, just in the videos section of Twitch. I highly recommend watching it. I'm quite fond of this game. I'm looking forward to coming in full. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching and joining me on my little experience of spin or totality. Uh, I'm sure Horizon will return. I like, I, I, like I said, I'm quite enjoying this. It'd be good to keep going. So, until next time, I've been Inquisitor. I'm ripping off Total Biscuit. And I'll see you next time.